everyone. Good day. We tend to you. Are ready to show you the role of cell organelles and its function inside the Aklan State University Banga Campus. So relax and enjoy as we tour you inside the university campus. Good day everyone! I'm sure you're wondering why I'm here in the front of the Aklan State University. Well, I'm here to explain how this gate is similar to the cell membrane. The cell membrane is a thin layer that encloses the cell cytoplasm. It protects and separates the interior of the cell from the outside environment, allowing beneficial substances to pass while blocking harmful substances. Similar to this gate, which regulates the transportation of the P4, the ASAN, entering and exiting the campus, and also provides the group. Now, let's proceed to the next organ. Hi, my name is Nyaka Sarati Bardlaza and I'm going to talk about the endoplasmic reticulum. For us to understand more about the ER, let's use an analogy that corresponds to its function. So we thought about the university's roadway simply because the cell uses the endoplasmic reticulum as a platform to allow the material to move throughout the cell. Like the people here, they use highways as their platform to set themselves in motion, may that be with their vehicles or not. The passageways provide way for students and vehicles to harness their mobility the same way the endoplasmic reticulum makes passages for proteins. Now let's proceed to the next organ. Good day everyone, I am John Medar Felipe and I'm here to talk about ribosomes. So first of all, what is ribosomes? Ribosomes are made up of both RNA and protein and it is the protein synthesis in that cell. Additionally, during a process known as protein synthesis, our translation it creates protein from amino acids which are then utilized in break down other enzymes. Cafeteria, just like in cafeteria, I can use it as an example of ribosomes in our university. It creates foods such as meat, egg, and fish, which can see so protein just like what ribosomes do. Now let's proceed to the next organelle. Hi everyone, my name is Sean Brian Tedusha Wanico and let's talk about cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is responsible for holding all the components of the cell and protects them from damage. It stores the molecules required for cellular processes and it is also responsible for giving the cell its shape. Cytoplasm is just like the floor. The floor contains all the parts of the spool and holds them together, just like the cytoplasm does for the cell. The cytoplasm of a cell is like the air on earth. The cytoplasm is everything inside of a cell. Just like air, it is a space inside of earth. Hello, I am Ruby Shirin FDU and I will talk about lysosomes. Lysosomes are membrane-enclosed organelles that has digestive enzymes. Lysosomes are built just like our genitors and comfort groups. Because the main function of lysosomes is to repair broken parts of their cells and gets rid of the waste that are not needed inside the cells. Or, it breaks down, breaks down proteins, lipids, carbs, and DNAs that are not needed inside the cell. Now, let's proceed to the next organelle. Good day to all, I am Emma Nariat, and today I'll be discussing all about the cytoskeleton or the cell wall. A network of filaments known as the cytoskeleton is found in the cytoplasm of your area of cells. Just like a wall, it coordinates all the other cell components, keep the, the shape of the cell, and controls the movement of the many organelles inside the cell as well as the movement of the cell itself. The cytoskeleton are much alike to the campus wall as it provides the framework of the university and keeps everything inside it protected and well organized. Now, let us proceed to the next organelle. Hi guys, my name is Shani May M. Gonzalez and I'm going to discuss to you the vacuum. A vacuole is a cell membrane-bound organelle that can be found in both animal and plant cells. The main function of vacuoles is to store various substances such as food and water. It is basically the is responsible for transporting, packaging, and modifying proteins and lipid molecules inside the different locations of the cells. It is viewed just like the tricycles entering the university, wherein they transport students to the designated buildings or locations. I hope that you're still listening and watching because we are now heading to the two last parts of our video. Now, let's proceed to our next organelle. Hi everyone, I'm Marian, and now we're gonna talk about the main switch as my analogy for mitochondria. Mitochondria is also referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. It's just like a circuit breaker in the body 
which acts like a main switch when producing energy called ATP and when turning off cells called apoptosis. It also acts like a switch that stores calcium and just a click releases them into the body when needed. Good day everyone, I am Patrick May Matarez Makaet and now let us move on to the next part of the show. In our university, our principal's office serves as our nucleus because it is the command center of the whole school, just like how a nucleus functions inside the cell. Here is the genes, structures of hereditary information. That's all for now guys. I hope that you learned many new things, especially about the functions of the different organelles inside our cell. And now, this is Tim Serio, now signing off. Um, um. Hey, what you say? We got to move. What's they can say?